Archon's on the floor. Hera coming back in for one final time in a Penn State uniform. And he pulls down what will be an eighth rebound tonight. And now Coach Shrewsbury wants to get John Hera an ovation. Number five, Greg Lee comes in to replace John Hera. <laughs> so much of this program and has given so much to Penn State basketball the last five years. One final time getting the honor at home. Well, for this thing to work, for Coach Shrewsbury and his wife Molly and her son Brady, that guy had to stay. A lot of guys bailed. He had to stay. They had to have his physical presence. They had to have his leadership. Coach Shrewsbury told me a month ago, he said, I will do anything for that kid. I don't care if it's 50 years from now. He always has an open door at Penn State. I will help him in anything. He just raves about him. And you look at the love and the passion. And hey, you know, sometimes there are nights like this, and you just don't want it to happen to a guy with that kind of character. He will break the Penn State record for most games played when they suit up on Thursday. One minute, one minute to go in regulation. Kofi Coburn can do battle. Will not have a double-double tonight. Nine points, eight rebounds. Streak of four straight will come to an end. Try and restart that as Penn State will regroup against the Fighting Illini who are trying to win a conference title. Final 40 seconds tonight. Tomanaga rolls off. And it's Penn State basketball. Well, I enjoyed it, partner. We sure didn't expect this to happen, but some nights when you're hitting, you just can't slow them down. But this is an awesome performance by Nebraska. 93 points against the top defense in the Big Ten. Couldn't play any better. One of the best performances at the offensive end you'll ever see in college basketball. No question about that. 58% from the floor, 65% from three. They don't have to take another shot. And by far, the best conference game of the season for Nebraska. They roll into State College and will head back home with a 23-point win for Fred Hoiberg's second conference win of the season. What a game for Nebraska. The last two games they've come to battle, it all came together in this one. And if you're Penn State, you don't even want to take burn it and move on. 93-70, the Huskers will head back to Lincoln feeling good about themselves and head into Ohio State to take on the Buckeyes. Big Ten basketball and beyond coming up next. This has been an exclusive presentation of the Big Ten Network. Now for Jess Settles and our entire crew, I'm Jason Horowitz saying good night from State College. Take care, folks.